First of all, on behalf of the Royals and the Kansas City Royals Foundation, I want to welcome you here tonight. We're going to celebrate one of the most historic sports teams in the history of Kansas City. 2014, it unlocked so many new possibilities for the Kansas City Royals. It really did. What's up, guys? Good, good. What's it feel like to be back to see the guys? <clears throat> A lot of familiar faces, obviously. You know, it's, it's crazy. It's, uh, it really is nuts to think it's been 10 years since that 2014 team. <laughs> there you go, Lola. <laughs> You got a bald head, okay. Hey, I cut it real low, man. <laughs> Ooh, man, I'm, I'm fired up, I'm excited. You know, just hugs and smiles and laughter already. So, man, I'm, I'm pumped. <laughs> I mean, this is such a big part of my life and my family's life. So to come back, we know it's gonna be a huge celebration, not just for the team, but really for the organization and for Kansas City as a whole. <laughs> the whole thing feels like it's like like we're back on the team and you know you get some of those same those same exciting feelings. Kansas City Royals are the 1985 World Champion. We have absolute excitement in the Kansas City Clubhouse. Dick Howler, congratulations. All they're trying to do is to end the longest professional championship drought in major sports. The Royals haven't been in postseason play since they won the series against the Cardinals in 1985. They've got a little bit of history behind them, and it's not good. They're hoping to make some new history here this year. There you go. When I first got the job over here with the Royals, I got to be a part of the Meyer Leagues and see how many really good players that they had drafted and, and developed. And once they uh, got to a point in the Meyer Leagues where they were all put together, you could tell it was going to be a special group of guys. It is impossible to tell the story of the 2014 American League champions without bringing to the stage the architect. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Dayton Moore. Dayton Moore, the, the general manager, he really stuck to his plan to build within. Get the farm system good enough that we can produce not only big league players, but have good enough minor league players to trade away to acquire big league players. The Royals say they are ready to win now. If we don't make this deal, I can't guarantee you that it's going to work, but I know if we don't, then we will not win unless we get pitching that can help us uh, become the team that we need to be. Dayton Moore, stuck to, to what his vision was and, and never got sidetracked throughout it and realized 2014 was the year to push the chips in. Everybody lock it in for the next six hours, all right? This is a charity event. Davy, did, did you get a stool for Timmy Collins so he can hang his bat? <laughs> Where, where George goes, the champagne flows. Yeah, baby. I'm sure you do remember that in 2013, the team finished 10 games above 500. So we had high hopes going into 2014, but it was a rocky road. And I'd forgotten that on June the 1st, you guys were in last place. Shortly after that, a nine game winning streak, then a losing streak. And we went into the All-Star break wondering what the second half was going to look like. I think we started off the season kind of rough. I think we blew the first two out of three or four games. Got back home. I remember getting booed. Detroit spanks him in game one by a final of 16 to four. And after the game, I remember looking at Stoney and, and Greg and we're like, this can't happen again. I'm like, if we're going to win, you know, this has to be the end of any type of failure. If you haven't heard, the Royals signed Raul Labanez. We've been playing. Not up to caliber, we've been struggling a little bit. Raul Ibanez calls a team meeting in Chicago and tells us how good we were from the other dugout. And he pretty much said, listen, you guys are much better than you think you are. You're much better than you understand you are. I was just playing against you guys two weeks ago, and do you realize how feared you guys are amongst the whole entire league? And it was at that time that we just went on an incredible streak. Starting on July 22nd, the Kansas City Royals caught on fire. This has been an incredible run. The Royals winning 10 straight games. It's almost as if the American League Central standings are inverted. The Royals sweep the series. And for the first time this year, they are 10 games above 500. You know, we just kind of took off as a group. 
I feel like everything just happened at the same time. We all kind of just took off at the same time. What's it like playing in front of a huge crowd? Hey, we love it when our whole team comes to support us. I mean, the fans showed up. And when you have that, I feel like that pushes you to win. You don't want to fail when, when you've got 35,000 people at you every night. Is anybody in baseball having more fun than the Kansas City Royals and their fans? You know, we had the right group of guys and the, the core group that was already there. You know, everybody loved each other. So I, I think that all that mixed together was, was we knew it was going to work at some point. Clearly, the chemistry of this group has not changed over the years. And uh, that was a huge part of the success of these two teams. It's hard to explain the chemistry and the bond that we had. From the first day I got traded over here, it was like I, I've known e these guys my entire life. I would like to. Mm. Oh, oh. Forgot, that yeah. was ripped, dude. Yeah. Oh, You know, I, I love these guys. They're my brothers. Talking about old times, enjoying each other's company is a blast. Yeah, good shot, dude. No, it's really good. Get it's in. Really good. Go in. Get in. You got ah. that? You got that? Ah. Oh, oh, my like gosh. <laughs> Stay fair. Oh, my God. Where'd it go? <laughs> you see it rolling back into the fairway, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Golf never goes as well as you anticipate it going, but we had a big group, and uh, that was a lot of laughs. Roll, ball. D-Way, you're getting better every hole. Hey, just throw my ball. I'll be at the cart. Throw my ball. <laughs> I hit it how I want to, so if it's out of bounds, I'm not counting it. <laughs> Actually, I've, I've never golfed before, so this should get interesting, to say the least. If we're playing a team game, I apologize in advance. <laughs> All right, hey, I'm gonna I'm angle my body this time. I'm gonna angle my body and see what I can do. Ooh, oh, lean back. <laughs> I should have stayed more that way. See that? How do you turn your body one way and hit it another way? I think that's what makes a good winning team is that banter back and forth. You care for each other, but uh, you know, um, it's just like being back in the clubhouse. <laughs> oh man, boy, you gotta call it like you see it, boy. <laughs> we played loose. I think as we got closer to the end of the season, recognizing that making the playoffs was a real likelihood for us. And so we just played every single day as though it was our last. Popped up. Salvador Perez. What a team. What a season, what a relief. The Kansas City Royals are off the hook and headed back to the postseason. And when it was all said and done, we clinched that wild card berth. And within a couple of days, all of a sudden, the Oakland A's show up on our doorstep. Postseason baseball has returned to KC. It's the Kansas City Royals at home against the Oakland Athletics. I think if you asked anybody on our team, it felt hopeless in many ways. We were facing John Lester, who had notoriously been a Royals killer. His year, maybe his best this year. A lot of losses, but a great ERA. How the heck are we gonna do this? This guy is, is the best pitcher in the game. Rusty ended up realizing that John Lester hadn't had a pickoff attempt in, in about two and a half years. He just doesn't do it. He flat out doesn't pick off. I mean, it's a track meet from that point on. Here's the throw to second, no chance. There were so many ups and downs throughout that game. And there's a shot to center, and that's gonna score another run. But it was just that same mentality, one at bat at a time, having a little bit of confidence in what we did well, which was that day, steal bases. The team that led baseball in stolen bases and using it to their greatest advantage tonight. In the right center field. And we just started chipping away, and one thing led to another. How resilient is that royal bunch? We'll be back. It goes without saying, one of the most fantastic finishes in all of professional baseball history. The winning run is at second. Pass through in the left field. The Kansas City Royals are walking off into the ALD. Uh, I think we had a little belief knocked into us. 
the way that the team had played down the stretch. We were sweeping everybody. We swept the Angels. Next stop, Baltimore. The Royals will play in the American League Championship Series. When you're sweeping in that fashion, you know, we're thinking we're going to win it all. You know, believe it or not, we're all just, we're still great friends, so we all see each other a good amount. You know, I see Moose, I see Vargi, I see uh, Dice all the time. Lorenzo Kane's a guy that, he's so busy, man, he's got three kids, he's coaching all three of their Little League teams out there in Oklahoma. So, you know, we don't get to see much of Lil Kane, but what we do, it's such a blast, it's such a good time. Stone Burger! Where my picture at, Burger? Show me some love now. Where my picture at? Oh, you got pictures? Where am I? Find me. I can't remember. There was oh. a picture right there. Now that, that's a good one right there. Oh, yeah. They got looking good in here, Burger. Of course. Hey, these were my good years right here. You know, at 14, I, I think I hit seventh or eighth in the bed in order. You know, you come to the locker room, you know, I look at the bottom of the lineup. My name's not there, so I'm like, oh, am I not playing? And I just kind of scroll up. And I'm hitting third, and oh, I was kind of confused, you know. Um, you know, Ned, he was a guy that believed not only in me, but this entire group. All I ever wanted to do was prove him right for moving me to that three hole, and I'll always appreciate him for that. This place is up for grabs, Camden Yards, bottom of the ninth, game one of the ALCS. Five or six guys that were crazy clutch hitters, you know, with Lorenzo, Moose, or Eric Cosmer, like when the moment got big, they just got way better. Well, this is nothing new for the Kansas City Royals going to extra innings in a postseason game. In the air to deep right. And the Kansas City Royals have taken the lead. Alex Gordon with a shot into the seats in right field. And the tie's been broken. That's gone. Mike Moustakis. Down the line, Escobar, RBI double. To say the Kansas City Royals are hot would be an understatement. Rounded into left field, base hit, Lorenzo Cain. The Moose is loose again. Line drive, base hit by Infante, the lead off the third. We had runners on base, it felt like every inning. The 1-0. Dyson around second, he will easily go to third. You know these guys are going to keep applying pressure. I think that was kind of the foundation of our team. The 0-1 to Butler. Fly ball left field. Dyson with the tag. The throw to the plate. Plenty of time for Dyson. And it's 2-1 Kansas City. So the pitching staff, when you feel that, you're going to be more competitive. And he struck him out. Herrera faces three Orioles, strikes out two. If we could get the lead sometime in the middle of the game or late, it was almost guaranteed that we would be able to hold on to it. So goes down swinging. Well, what do you say about this bullpen? Their ERA combined has been 1.23. Up the middle, Infante gloves it, throws him out. A KC masterpiece. It's 3 nothing. The best time of my life that I've ever had on a baseball field is, is with that team. And it's because of those guys. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to welcome back to Kauffman Stadium your 2014 American League champions. I saw young Salvador Perez, uh, Mike Moustakis, Eric Hosmer, Kelvin Herrera. Uh, I saw young Greg Holland in spring training, and my eyes were knocked out the talent of these young kids. I hope guys from this experience can just remember how important they are to one another and, and to the community. As we are applauded on the field, you'll be able to relive and just understand that 
these 25 plus many more players and these coaches in the front office just means so much to the entire community and to one another. And I think this weekend will be a great reminder of that. coming through the minor league system and, and getting to be a part of something special that does not happen very often. That was a really special time for me. Just being a part of this organization, it changed my life. And I think it made me to the man I am today. I'm proud to, to call myself a Kansas City Royal for the rest of my life. Router to third, fair ball. Moustakas across. 29 years of frustration has ended. The Royals are going to the World Series. I think we know that we accomplished so much and brought the fans along for that ride. We didn't win the World Series. We knew that deep down, there was always next year. I'm going to Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. They got some pretty little women there, and I'm gonna get me one. I'm gonna be staying on the corner, 12th Street and Vine. I'm gonna be staying on the corner, 12th Street and Vine. Well, I might take a plane, I may take a train, 